Amongst the people of Plymouth in the 1920s and 30s, there appeared to be a sense of fun and unity. As the seven o'clock regulars met at Plymouth Pier for their daily swim, and that was every day, 365 days a year, their antics and funny dress portrayed what many feel were the good old days. Whilst these days were characteristically fraught with difficulty, these historic images portrayed Plymouth people in fun-loving mood, oblivious to the dark days to come. Funny. I think this is such a little island, isn't it? There goes another lot, sir. Looks as if poor old Plymouth's going to get it again. As the war progressed, the city of Plymouth suffered four years of intense bombings. In just two days, 59 raids occurred in 1941, devastating the city centre and causing over a hundred million pounds worth of damage. Some commented that after the devastation of these raids, surely this would be the end of Plymouth. But as the air raid sirens of 1944 sounded the last all clear, the end of hostilities between nations approached. Battered and bruised, the city of Plymouth was in ruins. But with the end of the war, a determined population was ready to see it rise again from the ashes. <laughs>